everyone! So today I'm doing another hair tutorial on how to style short curly hair. My last video, I think I called the hairstyle Let's Do the Twist. Um, that one seemed to be pretty popular, so I thought for people with short curly hair, since there's not a lot of options when it comes to second day hair, if you don't have time to wash and style it and, you know, do the whole shebang there. Um, there's not a whole lot of options for us, so I've been getting creative and coming up with a few styles. Most of them are very basic because if I don't have time to shower, chances are I don't have a lot of time to style my hair. Um, so this, again, is just a very simple, um, quick hairstyle, and it's nothing earth-shattering or groundbreaking or anything like that. So, But I hope you enjoy it. Um, so let's get started. I'm wearing the hairstyle right now, and yes, it looks like a ponytail. And if you saw me out like this, you'd probably think that my hair was, um, a lot longer than it actually is, because I have, like, this full ponytail up here. Um, but in reality, when I take that down, you'll see that's not the case. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I'll kind of zoom in there. So you can see it's just kind of like a messy sort of nest look at the top like a pineapple. And then if I turn around you'll see from the sides here that it basically just kind of looks like a ponytail and it's nothing particularly exciting at all. So I'll jump right in. What you'll need for this is just a couple of bobby pins, a handful maybe, and a hair elastic or a hair tie or whatever you want to call it. So I'll quickly just rip out the bobby pins. And depending on if you have layers or not, you're going to need, uh, it's going to change the amount of bobby pins that you're going to need in your hair. I kind of just grab a bunch and add as I go, and if I feel like I need more, I grab some more. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, You'll see my hair is not very long, so this is where I have run into problems when I want to do a ponytail. So, going to cheat a bit. Let me take out this hair elastic from the from the top of my head here. Okay, and this is where having big hair comes in handy. So you'll see kind of why I didn't wear my hair down today, because this is what it's doing. It's not really curly, it's just doing this big, loose, wave thing, um, and it wasn't cooperating, so it was, it wasn't cooperating, and that's why I put my hair up today. So I'm going to use this volume to really help me create the look of a ponytail. So, the shortest side, I guess, my shortest pieces of hair or hit me at about ch chin length, and then on this side they're slightly longer, um, at, you know, maybe an inch below chin length. So, what I'm going to do is start with a styling product um, to kind of help smooth my hair back and add some moisture and hold. Um, I don't have the stuff that I normally use, but I found this coconut body butter that my friend Caitlin gave me, and I thought, you know, it says it's made with coconut, virgin coconut oil for normal to dry skin and I thought well coconuts used in hair products a lot what about normal to dry kind of hair so just looking at it it looks like this very rich creamy product and it looks like like a hair butter you can see that right there and it just easily absorbs I took a look at the ingredients at the back and you know just some shea butter some coconut oil um, some dimethicone, which is in some of the hair products that I use anyway, so I said, why not use this in my hair? So I start with just a little bit on my fingers here, and I just work that through my hair, smoothing it back, and then get the under layers too to add some kind of shine to it. I'm not going to add too much because I've already put my hair up three times today. So just like that, to add some kind of shine and hold to the hair. I don't have particularly greasy hair, so I need a lot of moisture. I'm going to start by sectioning the hair just kind of above the ears and pulling it up to the crown of my head and gathering it in a ponytail. From here, use your fingers 
rake the rest up towards your other hand and just grab onto any hairs that you might catch. So I'm pulling it all the way up as much as I can into a high ponytail. And you don't want to pull too tight and like pull your hairline back or anything dramatic like that. So just grab what you can. What you can't grab, just leave. So it looks like that's probably as much as I'm going to get. Take my hair elastic and fasten this into a ponytail. And I'm going to do this one yeah, just, I guess, two times. And adjust as necessary. So kind of tighten from the base, shake your fingers, grab two other small sections, and pull them. From the underneath, grab two more sections, just pull them to tighten it. Okay. All this other stuff here, smooth it down to see what you have left to deal with. So I have quite a bit of hair here that's not fitting up in this ponytail. Might pull the ponytail down a bit. What you're going to do with these pieces is similar to my twist video. You're going to take a piece of hair, putting your bobby pin in your mouth is optional, twist that section of hair, pull it up towards your ponytail, and pin that in. And you can watch my Let's Do the Twist if you want to know how to put in the bobby pins in a more secure way. So using either one to two clips per twist. Grab another section of hair, twist it around, and pull it up and pin. Just working all the way around. So depending on how many layers you have, you, you may need... Uh, more or less bobby pins. Preferably use ones that are the color of your hair as opposed to ones that don't match. So you'll see I have, kind of if you look here, I have this black one at the top and you can't really tell but this one's brown but it really doesn't blend into my hair that well off camera. But it's all I have so I'm going to use it. So grab a piece, twist it around your finger pull it up and pin. And fewer sections are starting to fall, so I'm going to just shake my head a bit, see what else comes down. Any pieces that are too short to, to twist, just kind of pull them up, squeeze them, pinch them together with your finger, and what I do is kind of pinch them up and do a little tiny twist at the top and stick a clip in it. I'm quickly pinning these, but as I mentioned, if you want to pin them more securely, you can follow the steps in my Let's Do the Twist video. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just kind of shoving them in. So add as many as you'd like. Um, if you don't want any sections falling out, if you have any sections falling out up here, I just kind of pull them towards the top here and pin them right at the base so that the hair kind of covers them and you can't really see them, depending on how much poof you want. So stick that in. Okay, and this is kind of the finished look. So you'll see um, this part's a little bit messy because I played with it so much today, but that's what it looks like. It's just kind of like a high pineapple ponytail, and it looks like from the side, like a regular ponytail. And just flip to the other side, even though it's only really half of my hair. So. If you want to switch this up a bit, here's a few things that you can do. You can obviously place this ponytail a little bit lower if you don't want it to look quite so pineapple-y. If you have another hair elastic, what you can do is bunch this up into a ball to make a bun. Or you can twist it into a bun. Like a messy kind of bun look here. And just secure that with a, a loose single elastic over top here and then you can get a bun or you can pin it. So you can either do a bun at the top or do this kind of messy bird's nesty kind of ponytail. The other thing I often do and what I did today instead of wearing it like this is I pulled out some hair from the front. I have kind of some bangs but if you don't have bangs you can still do this. Pull out a section at the front of your forehead, comb it down and off to one side. This will kind of give you the appearance of like a more sort of 
I think more like of a retro kind of side part, big poof at the top of your head kind of look. Longest description ever. And pin that off to the side so it can, kind of changes the shape of your face a little bit and just makes it look a little bit different. And you might have, you know, some hair kind of flicking out of the side here, but that's fine. So it'll look kind of like that. And for something a little bit more different than that, take this section, pull it forward, and you're going to do that twist. Like in my Let's Do the Twist video. So twist the strand all the way up, pull it back towards the center of your head. I'm going to pin it right at the end there. And then you can kind of mess with it to pull it forward if you want. Or make a little kind of cross with bobby pins to kind of push it forward. And you can see there's a little bit of a poof here now. So it doesn't catch on the camera, but it helps to just give it a little bit of a different look. So that's basically the style. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, took a little bit longer to explain than it does to do, obviously. But uh, let me know if you enjoy these videos. And if so, then I can then post another hairstyle. So, hope everyone's having a great day, and until next time, bye!